Hi everyone, so today is a grains and dairy lesson. So we're gonna start off with the my plate. So my plate includes fruits, vegetables, grains, protein, and dairy. And as we can see, grains and dairy are circled on this chart. So grains, they're full of vitamins and they also give us a lot of energy to run, learn, and play. So we're going to start off with the grains process. Grains start off as seeds and they eventually become some of our favorite foods. So first we have step one. First the seed is planted into the ground as we see in this illustration. So for step two, the seed starts to sprout and grow as we see in this picture. So for step three, once it grows, it's harvested. So harvested means to gather the crop. So in this picture, you could see it's used with a big machine and that harvests a lot of crops at once. So for step four, lastly, it's milled into a flour. This is the ingredient in many foods in the green group. So here are some examples of greens. First, we have oatmeal, then we have rice, then we have popcorn, we have bread, we have pasta, and we have cereal. So let's take a second and think. What is your favorite cereal? So on this slide, we see Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Fruit Loops, but we also see a thing that says sometimes food. So a sometimes food is a food that you shouldn't eat all the time. You shouldn't have it every day. It should be a food that you eat sometimes. So Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Fruit Loops are sometimes foods because they have a lot of sugar in them. Next, I'm going to show you guys an example of an everyday cereal, like Corn Flakes and Cheerios. They have less sugar, so they are healthier to eat, and that's why we call them an everyday food, because you can have them more often. A great way to eat cereal, which is probably the only way a lot of us eat cereal, is having it with milk. And milk is a part of our dairy group, which combines our two groups from my plate. So now, we need you to be a detective. Our next food group comes from a cow and is yummy when eaten with a grain that we showed you earlier. What food group is it? I'll give you a couple seconds. If you guess dairy, you're right. Dairy gives us calcium. This helps us grow strong bones and teeth. So now here's an example of a fridge. So we're going to go through each of the pictures that are shown here. So the one on the second shelf is an ice cream cone. Then we have a piece of cheese, then we have yogurt, and we have milk. So first we're going to show you milk. The middle one you might have had at school in the cafeteria. And then the other ones are just other types of whole milk. Next, we have cheese. On this slide we're showing mozzarella, string cheese, sharp cheddar, and cream cheese, which a lot of people have on a bagel, which would include our greens. Next, we have ice cream. And as you remember earlier, we showed you guys sometimes food. Ice cream falls underneath sometimes food as well. It has a lot of sugar and it's not really that healthy for us. So it's okay to have it sometimes, but not every day. A great alternative is yogurt. Yogurt is considered an everyday food. So we have two types of yogurts on this side. One made with whole milk and then a Greek yogurt. And then next to it, we have frozen yogurt which is a great alternative to ice cream. And next we have a parfait, which also is a yogurt. But a parfait includes granola, which is a grain, um, blueberries and strawberries, which are our fruits. So this is a yummy alternative to ice cream as well. So time for some review games. So you're gonna take the top examples and you're going to put them in each one of the groups. So which one of these are greens and which one of these are dairies? So I'm going to give you guys a couple of seconds. So in our greens group, we have the picture of popcorn, oatmeal, and pasta. And then for the dairy group, we have the picture of cheese, cream cheese, and yogurt. So now some questions. So you guys could think of these on your own and just have some reflection. So what are your, some of your favorite grains? 
I know for myself, I love oatmeal with breakfast. Then, what type of dairy do you like to eat? I love cheese. I love putting feta on top of my salads. And did you learn anything new today? So now for the next review game. Which isn't a grain? If you guess carrots, you're right. So we have oatmeal, which is a grain. Then we have bread, which is a grain. We have our carrots, which is a vegetable. And then we have our pasta, which is a grain. So now some dairy true and false questions. Is ice cream a sometimes food, true or false? Can cheese be used on salads, true or false? And is yogurt a dairy product, true or false? So ice cream is a sometimes food. Cheese can be used on salads, but yogurt is a dairy product, so the last one is false. Thank you, everybody.